Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I've actually just got back from Spain um, a few days ago. I had a week off and um, I've come back from Spain and it's so cold here. I feel like my hands are icy cold anyway. So um, I'm outside in the solar shed and uh, in this video I want to talk to you about the software which um, my solar panel system uses. Basically there's a few different pieces of software which all work together to control this uh, this solar panel uh, system. So let's see, in the actual solar shed here there's a f there are two pieces of software and there's software on this nano here and the software on this um, this node MCU. Okay to start with the nano, what does the nano actually do? Okay well you'll see that it's connected to this RS to TTL converter and that's connected through this uh, yellow wire to the charge controller and what that's actually doing is that the converter is requesting data from the charge controller and it's passing it to the nano which is here so the nano is connected to that so obviously I've got some software to read details uh, Modbus details via this converter here so I've got software to do that I've also got it connected to this uh, amplifier chip over here and this amplifier chip is actually connected to the shunt which is over here and every uh, well all current that passes through the inverter from the batteries passes through this current shunt so the voltage drop across the current shunt there goes directly to the amplifier which amplifies it and then gives the signal to the nano so um, the nano also deals with that so it's collecting data basically so it collects the uh, modbus data and it also collects the data uh, from the amplifier which is from the current shunt which is basically able to determine how much current is flowing out of the batteries it also does another thing as well the nano also also uh, gets light data and it gets light data through a wire or four wires which flow here so if I can just quickly go out and show you this that wire there goes to the light sensor and I'll just show you so um, it actually goes out of the wall up here and I've just got it resting on the panel there and then of course into the sky. So the nano gets all the data and processes it then when it's done that it sends it via serial to the node MCU and the node MCU is connected to this uh, little TFT module and it updates it. I don't know if the camera will... there we go it's not too bad. It actually looks a lot better than that in, re in reality. I don't know why it looks so bad on camera but anyway. Uh, so it controls that. But the node MCU also has this ESP8266 module and that's capable of wireless transmission via TCPIP. So what I do then is with all this data, I actually send it directly to my server. So when I send it to my server, um, something else happens, and I'll discuss that in a minute. Okay, so when the Node MCU sends the data to my server, it sends it to this service. Well, actually, what happens? It sends it to a port on the server, and then this software looks at that port and sees if there's any new data so if there is new data what it does is it tries to pass it and then um, when it's passed it it then sends it to SQL server so you can see some controls here and um, you can see some diagnostics so it's got some data and it sent it to SQL server which is here so in here I have a table and the table stores this data so there's an ID solar voltage, solar amperage, battery voltage, battery charge amperage, battery train amperage, light if AI is on, if solar is on and if the inverter 1 is on and then the date and time but date and time is uh, an automatic field from SQL Server. Okay so there's also another piece of software which I've not mentioned yet and that's this software here and this is the war this is the uh, website the controlling website and this is this can be found at solar.accbs.co.uk so if you go onto that you'll be um, you'll be able to see this dashboard here so this is connection status connected that's the connection status between the node MCU 
and the server. So the connected time, that's the last connected time, and the IP of the node MCU is there. So it says AI on, solar on, and inverter on. And um, as you can see, this highlights an area which I've not told you about. And the area is that the node MCU um, has several jobs. So I did say that it, it controlled the TFT screen and then it connected to the server to post data but it also has another job, a very important job and that's to actually control solar itself so anyway, um, AI on so on the node MCU there's a, a state um, AI on and that's artificial intelligence on and basically what that means is that if I leave AI on I'm letting the node MCU control whether solar should be on and whether the inverter should be on and uh, that's something that I programmed into the node MCU and to make its decisions it uses the data which it gets from the um, from the nano so anyway that's how or well, that's one of the ways how we can control AI on here now if you don't have AI on then it's manual so then that allows you to manually uh, turn solar on or off anyway so there's a couple of uh, bits of data there for you to look at and there's also um, right now details so there's the solar voltage right now the amperage um, and lots of other details there and the light so now if I go to summary um, this should be the last 24 hours and data this is just a raw dump of data within the past 24 hours um, and then I'll go to charts and this one usually takes a while to load, probably about 20 seconds or something like that. So I'll just give this a bit of time, there we go. So in here, you can see uh, lots of interesting bits of data. So we've got the solar voltage, and that's the voltage it gets from the actual solar panels. Um, and let's see what else we have here. We have the amperage, the wattage, the battery voltage. So this is quite an interesting one too. And this is just mapped out from the data which I get from the node MCU, uh, which is posted to the server. So you can see the battery voltage there, the battery charge, the battery drain, and light. And this is quite an interesting one as well. Um, so you can see here these, uh, I don't know if you want to call them peaks or troughs or something like that, but this will probably be where the clouds are. And... Um, this is the actual amount of uh, lux which falls on the little light sensor and um, just to give you a bit more detail some of the criteria of the node MCU when it's in AI mode is that if there's an amount of light which I believe is over here then turn uh, solar on if there's not that amount of light then turn solar off but there's also another piece of uh, data as well and that's the battery voltage if the battery voltage falls below, um, I think it's 25 volts or so, I'd have to double check, then it, that's another um, parameter that contributes to whether solar should be on or off. Um, so yeah, they're the two that the algorithm uses to turn solar on or off. And you can see through some of my other videos that there are relays uh, which it uses to do so, to turn it on and off. So uh, let's have a look at this one now. So this is... Uh, state history so actually on this website I can control my node MCU um, which is in the solar shed so I can do this remotely and if I was to turn this uh, switch off now I'd actually switch AI off and, uh, and same with the rest of the controls and here's a list of connections as well because what I found was happening is that for some reason it kept dropping and I don't I didn't exactly know why so I just programmed this so I could monitor um, when there was a connection and not a connection um, and one of the things I probably would do next is to write or to post w what the reason is for why it's been lost or found like maybe it's timed out or something like that so anyway um, I just thought it would be interesting to show you the software that I've written for for solar and um, and see what you think so um, so thank you for watching and if you have any comments or questions or any ideas please let me know because um, 
the solar stuff really does interest me. Thank you for watching. Bye.